Hey everyone, Faze Ali from All Things Mobile, and today I'll be demonstrating BlackBerry Media Server on the BlackBerry 7.1 devices. Now, this has been available in BlackBerry 7.1 for a while now, except I have found that now with a later OS update, it actually runs much more reliably. So I thought it'd be worth a mention now rather than before. So let's get started. We've got our bold LAN 900 here. So we're first just gonna head over to the to the top banner over here. Click in. That's where you get all of your all of your uh, quick access. And then we can go into networks and connections. And then down in media server, you can see we have media server here. And yeah, we just press that to turn on. And also we have two options here. We've got preferences, which we can choose exactly what type of media we, we want to share. And then the name of the device, we can always edit the name of the device, as well as we can uh, check mark some, take some check marks off, go back and it's saved. Uh, let's just turn them all back on. And you've got access control. So when you're on, so when you've connected to a, uh, to a device, you can see, you can set uh, security settings. For example, if you connect to a device and it's your uh, home computer, for example, or a laptop that you personally own and, and you want it to not prompt you every time, you can always set it to always allow the connection and it will do that for you. It won't annoy you with saying, hey, do you want to connect with this device? It'll just do it automatically. One thing to keep note is that you can see the network here. This is uh, my home network actually. So you have to be on the same network as the device you're trying to connect to. And this only works through Wi-Fi. So that's why it says uh, WLAN Wi-Fi. So that's that. Also, uh, now you'll see that if, you know, if you've had this before, if you've gone uh, through it before, you'll see that now there's a little uh, explanation of what media server actually does. Previously, we didn't have that explanation. It was just, you know, turn on media server, preferences and access control, that was it. So uh, they actually did work on this a little bit. Uh, it's much more reliable, which is great. You can stream any content. I've tried to uh, stream some fairly uh, decent resolution stuff onto my computer and it actually worked quite well. The only part is when you are, when you're uh, skipping or rewind, like fast forward or rewind, it just takes a couple seconds, especially in an HD video, it takes a little longer. It's probably three to five seconds just for it to catch up. But with any audio files, they just work really easy. You can just skip through parts pretty easily. There's really no delay there. Overall, quite impressive. And this is on OS 7. And let me just show you which uh, exact operating system. So we just want to type in about. About and you can yep about device versions. There we go. And you guys can see I am on a BlackBerry Bold 900, and the OS version is 7.1.0.794. So this OS version is available for the Bold 9900. It's also available for the Torch 9810. It's not available for the Torch 9850 or 9860. So the full. Uh, touchscreen models and it's also not available for the 9790 nor the 9360 or any other BlackBerry 7 device. Now they do have an OS that's quite similar. They have uh, they've got 7.1.0.746 which is also in the same it's the same platform version and that should work but again like I said for me it, it hasn't worked out very well so when that OS, when this OS comes out for those devices, it'd be it'd be worth looking at because it works reliably. It works great. You can stream content. I've actually tried to stream file the media files to a Samsung Galaxy S2, and I had that for review, and that actually worked out very nicely. So, yeah, it's just a little convenience type thing. It's pretty nice little feature. It's great to have only a BlackBerry Seven if you're a BlackBerry user. So, there's that caveat. Anyways, I'm Faze Ali for All Things Mobile, and I'll see you guys in the next video.